Hey guys, so I want to apologize in advance before I even get started with the video. Um, first of all, the lighting in here looks awful. I already know my room has awful lighting and I know how to help with that. But um, I am in front of a window so to try to get natural lighting. So if that helps, it helps. So, I also want to apologize for not being on in a while. It's been a long time since I've been on. And I just kind of got away from it all. I got really busy with guard. The season's over. I have varsity tryouts this week. I'm really, really scared. Um, I mean, I know I'm not going to make it. Well, it's ma it's a mandatory thing. Um, you make it, but you can decline your position. So, I'm going to do that. Because that's what my director told me um so yeah so let's just get right into what I was about to say so my intro I'm always bad at intros but um just to say hello and welcome myself back to the YouTube world I'm gonna do um a video that shows you guys some new products that I've been trying out and what I bought um most recently so I hope you guys enjoy um Disclaimer, this um, video is going to be very short because there's only a selected amount of products in this. I keep touching my hair. I'm sorry. In this video. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So the first thing that I'm going to start off with is a blush. And I've been wearing like a more toned down blush. And I've always wanted this one because the girl that I watch on here, Kaylee McKenzie, if you don't follow her, go follow her now. She is, like, literally the best. Love her so much. But she recommends this blush to all of her subscribers that, like, have watched the video. And I loved the color. So I tried to go out and find it, and I finally did after two years of seeing that video. And it is from Wet n Wild, and it's called Mellow Wine. And it's a color icon blush. And it's just, it's very pigmented and you don't need a lot of it to go on. But it's just a very pretty matte wine color. And it goes on really subtly. You can um, like build the, the color onto your cheeks and it's super pretty. And I've been really, really liking this. The next thing that I got is from e.l.f. and this is a contouring blush and bronzer compact and I've always wanted this. I've always wanted to try out a bronzer and they have ones from NARS with the Laguna, Laguna bronzer and the orgasm blush but you can get the exact same thing from e.l.f. for $3 and the one at NARS is like around $38.40 so you can get the exact same thing obviously different shades of colors we can get the exact same thing for way cheaper, so that's why I got this. And it just has a blush right here and a bronzer right here. And I haven't been using the blush because I have a blush that I use. And this one I noticed doesn't like go together well with my skin tone. So I've been using that one with this bronzer. And the bronzer is called St. Lucia or Lusa, however you want to pronounce that. Um, and it's just a very pretty neutral brown color. And it goes together very well with my skin tone. And I just put it into the hollows of my cheeks, my temples, and down my neck as well to kind of give it like a tanner glow on my face. And I've been really liking this a lot. So if you don't have it, I recommend go pick it up. It's three dollars in Target, Walmart, Wegmans, whatever you can find. Yes, it's even in my Wegmans, which is awesome. So, the next thing that I have is a mascara. I have so many mascaras. My mom, my mother calls me a mascara hoarder, but you know I don't care. I can never have too many mascaras, as far as I can, I'm concerned. So this is by Rimmel London, and I love the mascaras. I don't like any other of the makeup products, just the mascaras. So this one is the Scandalize Show Off Mascara. It's in the pink tube, obviously, if you can tell. Um, and this mascara, like, reminds me so much of the Their Real Mascara from Benefit. Um, it's obviously a bigger applicator, but 
the applicator itself is literally exactly the same. The tip has the um, little small bristles that like go into the top and they're like fat, narrow fat. And I really, really like this. I wore it on my top eyelashes and it didn't give me enough oomph, if you know what I mean. So I've been wearing it on my bottom lashes and it makes them look so good. And um, I really like it so far. So I definitely recommend this. If you if you like how the clump crusher looks on your eye on your top top eyelashes, I cannot talk today. Then you will definitely like this for your top eyelashes. But if you're like me and you kind of like your eyelashes to look clumpy and sort of messy, you're gonna need like at least two to three coats of this for your top eyelashes. But it's just one for your bottom. So I've been liking that. And I've had this eyeliner before, but I ran out of it and I loved it so much. So I went out and butt it again because I've been starting to wear eyeliner um not just on my tight line but on my waterline as well and this is the wet n wild color icon eyeliner pencil and it's a shimmer eyeliner pencil but it doesn't look shimmer eye pencil at all on your eye and this is just in black and literally it does not even look at all like it's a shimmer eyeliner I kid you not it just looks like a regular black eyeliner, and um, I've been using this as my tight line and my waterline both to connect, and it is beautiful. I love it. Okay, second to last thing for this video, I've been getting into red lipstick all the entire time this winter, and I've had this before, but I had a little bit a little amount of it before and then I've been starting to use it a lot more and then I totally finished it off so I had to go and buy a new one um this is the Revlon lipstick butters I think it's called oh Revlon lip butter sorry and this is in 040 red velvet I don't know if you how well you guys can see that but it is literally just the perfect winter red color you could ever find and if you guys are following me on Instagram, I don't know how many of you guys are following me on Instagram, but I have a bunch of pictures with me wearing this, and I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. It is the prettiest color you could ever find, and it goes perfect with my skin tone. So if you guys have a similar skin tone than to mine, this will look gorgeous on you, and even if you have pale skin it'll look gorgeous on you you look like snow white I swear to god it's the perfect winter color and i'm probably going to wear it be wearing it in the summertime too it doesn't matter <sighs> i need to wipe it off oh well and last but not least i got my baby and i haven't been i haven't shown it to you guys yet but i'm showing it to you now i tried to make a review to this but I used my iPod and it like totally deleted the entire video and I was like, you know what, screw this, I'm not doing it again. So, I just want to show you this now. I got the Naked 3 palette a long time ago, like the, right when it came out I got it. Um, this is the Naked 3 palette from Urban Decay, I'm sure all of you guys have seen it. Um, I wear this every single day since I've got it and I'm in love with it. Um, I didn't get the second one, so the packaging to me was definitely a difference, and a good difference, a good change. I liked it. Um, I use the brush that it comes with to apply my makeup every day, except for a uh, applicator brush that I use for the um, what do you call it? Like the defining. Um, but I like this a lot. It just says Urban Decay Naked Three on it. Um, I use this side for blending, and I use this two two different sides for eyeshadow. And I just absolutely am in love with all of these colors. I'm sure all of you guys have seen this already. Um, if you guys are wondering what I wear every day, um, I use dust as sort of like a base color. Um, it's sort of hard to explain. It's like a pinky champagne -y color. Um, I use it as a base only on the lid part. Then I use the color Burnout that's right next to it. And, sorry, I thought I heard something. And I use that all over my lid, um, over the dust color. 
And then I use the color Nooner as a crease color. And I use Factory as sort of a darkening. I put it in the outer corner, blend it into the crease to kind of darken up the look a little bit. I did the same thing with my other Naked palette that I used. Um, but I've been loving this so much. Wearing it every single day since I got it. I got this in February, I think. And I've been using it every single day since. And I love it so much, and I'm so happy that I have it. So, that concludes my video. I haven't made a video in so long. So, thank you guys so much for watching and being patient with me. I'm sure this has happened more than once, uh, yeah, more than once to you guys. But I'm just apologizing because I feel really bad. And I know I've been editing my videos a lot, but I, my iPod is broken. So I have to use my laptop, and I'm bored, and nobody's home, so I wanted to make a video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video, and hope you guys enjoyed.